Solid comme le rock. Unforgettable. Frontliner. Whether it's the water issue, the Medicare issue, more recently the uh, uh, electricity issue, her efforts have impacted upon the shop floor of the average QP member. Dynamic. To the woman who can bring thousands of people to their feet. Powerhouse. Judy is a role model, period. For all of us, men and women. Driver. Charisma. So at family get-togethers, most people get together and say, you know, how are you? How's the job going? I like to say to Judy, brought any big, greedy multinationals to their knees recently? Dance till dawn. Judy, Judy, Judy. That's a woman full of piss and vinegar. Motivator. Has she been involved in demonstrations? The question is, has she ever missed a demonstration? Spirit. Unique hairstyles. <laughs> Very colorful, lots of hair, big earrings, and uh, Judy's trademark smile. Even then, she was famous for being very militant. Une grande leader. Shit kicker. Sympathetic. Living vortex where she goes, things are shaken up and things are moving. A uh, passion for social justice, a passion for fighting on behalf of working people, a passion for health care and, and all of the issues that affect our country. To every privatizer, to Gordon Campbell, Mike Harris. Judy Darcy avait 18 mois quand sa famille, qui comptait quatre enfants, a émigré du Danemark au Canada. Elle a grandi à Sarnia, en Ontario. Même ado, Judy faisait son petit effet. Judy was in high school, uh, hosting uh, the evening of entertainment, and she came out in a, a really gaudy uh, micro mini skirt and uh, yellow plastic knee boots, and and the audience cheered for her. They they were crazy about her, and then I thought, wow, she's really got just an unbelievable uh, amount of leadership ability to be able to pull that one off. C'était les années 60, Martin Luther King, les droits de la personne, la guerre du Vietnam et les manifs pour la paix. Judy était militante et féministe et a même participé à un concours de Miss Université comme agente d'infiltration. Judy, uh, one of the semi-finalists, stood forward as we had all planned ahead of time, but a much surprise to the other contestants and the judges to protest the way women were treated. That was a real test of fire. Judy travaillait à temps partiel à la bibliothèque de l'Université de Toronto. C'est là qu'elle a pris conscience du pouvoir des syndicats. Le SCFP a livré et gagné une bataille en santé et sécurité pour les travailleuses et travailleurs non syndiqués. Une fois à temps plein, elle est devenue déléguée syndicale avant la fin de sa période de probation. Deux ans plus tard, elle était élue présidente de la section locale 1230, juste à temps pour s'attaquer au gel des salaires imposé par Pierre Trudeau. Good evening. Tomorrow, the Government of Canada will ask Parliament for the authority to impose severe restraints upon rising prices and income. I ask them to apply the Federal Price and Income Guidelines to all provincial and municipal public service salaries. The first local to take on the fight against the controls was the University of Toronto Library Local of QP of which Judy was the president. I came down to one of their strike meetings and I was so impressed with her leadership and the energy that she engendered in that local. And also the fact that it was a multicultural group like I had never seen before in Kupi with women in saris getting up making radical statements against the library administration. It was wonderful to see. Lorsque Judy a commencé à travailler à la bibliothèque Metro Toronto Reference, elle a repris la lutte pour l'amélioration du salaire des femmes. We were involved in um, a heavy-duty set of bargaining. The team and I eventually came up with a what we thought was a, a reasonable settlement. We took it back to the local, and lo and behold, there was Judy at the meeting, standing up, saying, "No, this doesn't go far enough. We need to get, we need to, and we can get more." And she was right. Uh, we did, and. 
It took a three-day strike, though. Judy was the strike coordinator, and uh, she led this amazing demonstration on the day they walked out. She had everybody on the third floor get together, start down the stairs, start singing Solidarity Forever, uh, picking up the people on the second floor, picking up people on the first floor, out the front doors, and we set up the picket line. It was really amazing. Au cours des deux décennies qui ont suivi, s'il y avait une lutte pour les droits des travailleuses et travailleurs, Judy y était. Elle est devenue présidente du conseil du SCFP de Toronto. Elle s'est présentée sous la bannière du NPD fédéral et s'est attaquée au libre-échange. En 1989, Judy est devenue secrétaire trésorière nationale. Et en 1991, lorsque Jeff Rose a quitté son poste, le Congrès en a fait la deuxième femme à assurer la direction du SCFP. Judy avait souvent contesté Grace Hartman au micro des congrès. Maintenant, elle suivait ses traces. Les droits des femmes le mouvement pour la paix et la défense de l'égalité sont devenus des enjeux prioritaires. Judy est l'un de ces leaders qui lead by actions. Elle ne parle pas seulement de la parole, elle parle de la parole. Sur des questions comme la justice de l'emploi, les droits de l'homme, les droits anti-racistes, les droits de l'homme, Judy a toujours été là comme un allié fort. Elle ne se déroule pas de des questions issues. Instead of spending billions to bomb the people of Iraq? What about waging war on the HIV AIDS pandemic in Africa? What about waging war on the atrocious state of health care for Aboriginal people in Canada? It's time to wage war on poverty, on homelessness, on racism, on inequality, on injustice. No to war on Iraq. Sur la ligne de piquetage et dans les luttes pour défendre les services publics, Judy a travaillé à l'édification d'un syndicat fort, en veillant à ce que nos membres soient forts à la table de négociation. Judy a compris que dans nos négociations, nous, devons, nous devions garder le cap sur nos priorités, sur nos valeurs, qu'il ne fallait pas concéder. Et pour cela, comme dirigeante, elle a mené des discussions pour mener à l'élaboration de politiques claires, des politiques qui nous ont guidés dans l'action, pour ne pas concéder à nouveau. Et là-dessus aussi, Judy, je t'en remercie pour cette clarté pour le, le focus, l'objectif que tu as toujours gardé, que tu as maintenu pour nous tous. Grâce à son leadership, nous avons de meilleurs salaires et conditions de travail. Et les non-syndiqués ont adhéré au SCFP, faisant grimper notre effectif à un demi-million. Judy's leadership has been key in bringing the labor movement closer to coalitions and other people's movements. We always knew when QP came to the table that they would bring resources, creativity and true commitment to the work of the coalition. Et Judy a toujours dit clairement que sa coalition inclut le Québec. Vous avez remarqué tout au long de ta présidence, c'est ton ouverture d'esprit pour le Québec. Puis tu as compris les Québécois et les Québécoises, puis on était capable de faire progresser ce grand syndicat-là dans une dynamique nationale, parce qu'on est quand même un syndicat pan-canadien, puis on a besoin de la solidarité des travailleurs, des travailleuses et du Québec et du reste du pays pour faire avancer notre cause. Et été formidable là-dessus. Judy n'a pas seulement travaillé avec les membres du SCFP. Ses consoeurs et confrères incluent tous les militants et militantes pour la justice sociale. We were right there together fighting a whole bunch of important fights against water privatization in Vancouver and Toronto, against the export of water from Gisborne Lake, uh, for health care, for steering the Romano uh, Commission in the right direction, on the GATS, the General Agreement on Trade and Services, on trade, on NAFTA. We've, we've been there together and Judy's been there for us and I want to say that the Council of Canadians owes Judy Darcy and QP a lot. Talk is cheap. Everybody's talking like the Medicare is a sacred program. We want their signatures on the line. It's public and private sector workers. It's woodworkers. It's police. It's hospital workers. It's marine workers. All saying the same thing to this government. Enough is enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We don't fight the deficit by creating more unemployment. And we gave them very detailed and very practical proposals about how they could do that. And they simply wouldn't listen. The money has to come out. The money has to come out. The money has to come out. It's fundamentally unfair to say that we're going to respect contracts with bankers, we're going to respect contracts with business people, we're going to respect contracts with doctors, but frontline cleaners and secretaries and healthcare workers somehow don't have equal rights.
building private hospitals, owning hospitals privately is not cheaper and better for taxpayers. It costs more in the long run and it's the thin edge of the wedge for taking over hospitals completely. Les membres ont beaucoup apprécié la grande visibilité du SCFP. Judy Darcy has the ability to capture the media like no other labor leader in our country. It certainly gives our rank and file members from coast to coast the opportunity to see our national president out there on the front lines fighting for our issues. There's a crisis, our president's there. Judy a franchi plus de 200 000 kilomètres par an pendant son mandat. Le contact avec les membres était ce qu'elle préférait dans son travail. Judy has been on picket lines, on rallies and protests from one end of the country to the other. She's been there to involve herself in bargaining when that's been necessary on behalf of the members. She's there at every division convention. She's there at the dance till the last dance is danced. And that's really important to our members that she's been so accessible. Coming from an activist role herself, she understood the importance that rank and file activists make to the labor movement. But while yes, we have to have leaders at the top who are articulate and committed and energetic, the labor movement doesn't make change just by speeches. It makes change by energized activists. And Judy was very successful in energizing activists all across the country, including within CUPE. And that made a difference to CUPE, and it made a difference to the labor movement, it made a difference to our country. So she's combined organizing strategies, bargaining strategies, with political strategies. And that's given the workers in CUPE a sense that we can be victorious. Thank you.